I'm a part of this campaign because it's important for young people, um, doesn't matter what type of person you are, to be made aware of the fight against HIV and AIDS and how important it is. I got the question to do this and I just thought, you know, it would be stupid not to. It's a great campaign, it's for a good cause and I think it's actually reaching the people that need this information the most uh, because the the numbers, you know, people getting infected are just getting bigger and bigger every year. I thought it was a really good thing to be involved in. Actually, um, my neighbor just told me last week that he's HIV positive and I was like, whoa, kind of really took me off guard and I went to this event with him and people were getting up and sharing stories about their life and stuff like that and he told me and I was like, whoa, that's crazy, you know, because the thing is like a lot of times people don't talk about this type of stuff. We were given this opportunity, thank God, and we're here to tell you guys it's time to take action, it's time to spread awareness, it's time to talk about this with your friends and family because it's still around and it's not going away. Um, weil wir von der, von der äh, Kampagne gehört haben und ich glaube, wir haben echt nicht zwei Sekunden überlegt und haben sofort gesagt, lass uns das machen und lass uns irgendwie ein T-Shirt entwerfen. Und gerade ich hatte irgendwie total Lust drauf, wirklich selber ein T-Shirt zu entwerfen und, und mich da mal so ein bisschen auszuleben und so. Und dann noch natürlich, um auf Aids aufmerksam zu machen. So, das war einfach eine gute Kombination, wo wir gesagt haben, da wollen wir auf jeden Fall mitmachen. The only way you can be really, really sure that you're not getting infected by HIV or AIDS is wearing a condom. I mean, it's the only way. And so before you know that person that you're going to be with, it's best to really protect yourself. You know, of course we want people to keep loving, but we want that love to be safe. And so that's what this is about. It's the, we call it safe love, you know. Yeah. <laughs> safe sex and love are intimately connected, and that's what we're trying to show here. Well, I just wanted to make a t-shirt, you know, initially I was thinking, well, I don't really wear t-shirts very much, and so what can I do to make it my own style? And so I enlisted this really great fashion illustrator named, Dave, named David Downton, and um, he's done a lot of illustrations of me, and I thought that it would be a perfect way to bring glamour and function, <laughs> like t-shirts, together. Well, I chose this leotard for the women, and it comes in a men's shirt as well. In fashion, everybody's so uh, materialistic, and it really is about what's on the outside that counts. But really, it's about what's on the inside, and we all know that. So I decided to take my insides and put them on the outside. It's a bit confusing, but I think people understand. If you were to catch me in the street, I'd probably be wearing exactly the same with a blazer and maybe a scarf as well as my chains. Um, blazer pushed up on the arms like you've seen. Well, I would wear my t-shirt with shoulder pads because I think it just makes you look stronger. But I'm just happy, whatever. If you wear my t-shirt, I'm happy. Well, this is how I would wear it, uh, with my fishnets and my high heels. I, I like to wear it for my, my show rehearsals and for my workouts, so um, I'm wearing it my way. You can roll up the sleeves like this. You can cut off the sleeves if you want, you know. Some friends of mine saw the design. They were like, "I would cut the sleeves off that." So I think maybe you gotta, you know, you gotta wear mess it with, around with it. You gotta wear it with love, and you wear gotta, it with love. There you go. You gotta That's be you gotta be proud of wearing it because it does stand for a lot. 